Hello all, welcome back. Uh, behind the vice again today, tying up something nice and easy, but a great little dry fly for uh, the rivers, um, but also still water. I actually managed to get some fish recently on this fly. So uh, quite liking it on the still waters at the moment. I'm tying a still water variation. So I'm actually tying it on a Fasner wet hook, a wide gap wet, um, size 16. Uh, I just find with the wide gap wet, this, uh, tends to stay, or well, you tend not to lose fish, tend not to open on fish, especially when you're fishing for larger stillwater trout, rainbows or bows. Um, so yeah, good little variation. Just putting on some uh, squirrel dubbing, natural gray color. Um, again, quite like this. I'm gonna just tie it three quarters of the way up the shank. I'll just make it a little bit thicker towards the top. I really like it to be a little bit loose. So you've got some bits hanging off and making it look little bit more interesting. Um, then I'm gonna use some of my darker shade deer hair or elk hair. Um, what I'm looking for here at the moment is I'm looking for a nice thickish piece uh, like that. I'm gonna cut it off as close to the skin as possible. Just cut it right down deep. Perfect, just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load it up and I'm gonna give this a good shake. Let's see. Something like that. I've got, uh, I quite like tying this fly with different variations of elk or deer hair, uh, just because it gives quite a nice different feel. Um, this darker deer hair is just, just really good for still water patterns. Quite like it. So once you've cleaned it up, it'll come out like that. You can just pluck off any excess. If you want to measure it against the hook. Make sure you've got the distance right so it comes out just behind the shank. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to cut it off nice and straight. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, but nice and straight. And then we're going to stick it right here and tie it in good and tight. Pinch knot, first knot, just so it's good and tight in there. And then just tighten it in like that. Great, look at that, right out the back, perfect. Uh, then I'm gonna do a bit of a clean up job. Clean up all this excess here, because obviously this has got a bit of a bubble head, the little balloon caddis. What I love about the balloon caddis over the uh, normal LK caddis pattern is the additional float you get. And that's why I think it's quite nice on a still water where you're casting a lot, maybe pulling it a little bit, creates a little bit of movement, tends to stay up because of the foam. Um, and therefore, nice fly to fish. Uh, there we go. Got a nice back to it, nice wing case. Got my foam pre cut, just a really thin uh, piece of foam. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the point of it into a little triangle. There is some method in this madness. The reason I do it is when I tie it on, I just want that sharp point to tie in smaller than if it was squared off. It just makes it slightly easier. Let's see if we can get this to work first time. A little pinch knot there. Perfect. First time in nicely. And we'll just tie it down. Don't worry about any excess here. You're going to cover it up with the thorax of the fly. If you lift that, you should be able to see the eye perfectly for tying your line on. And if you've got that right, then you're good to go. Then what I'm going to do is I want a little bit of extra dubbing here. You can change the color. I'm going to change the color variation slightly right lighter. Um, but you want to create a little bit of a thorax on this fly. Just make it look slightly more buggy. Um, usually tie this, just uh, or put this dubbing on slightly tighter so that it holds below the foam nicely. And I also just, I don't want it too bulky below the foam. Otherwise it can look a little strange. Something like that looks just about perfect. And it's quite simple from here. You're just going to bring your foam back. So you create that little balloon head that we been trying to achieve, just like that. And tighten it in nicely. There we go. Take some glue. Glue it in. And then we'll finish this guy. And then after that, it's just final touches. And the final touches are pretty sim simple. You want to make the, the wing case nice and distinguished. I usually leave a little bit more here. Again, more foam for me is good. 
little bit extra bring that wing case up nicely you can trim off any excess below like that and there you have it guys what a nice little fly that is beauty beauty of a fly give it a go good dry fly for both still and rivers um something that catches a lot of fish enjoy